What is up, friends and foes? What I want to talk about right now is something serious. <laughs> it's not serious, obviously, I laughed about it. It's rude people and working in retail, and obviously, you know, those things go hand in hand, just like biscuits and gravy, just like peanut butter and ladies. It all goes into that little mix together, too. But right now, I kind of want to tell you a little two, I guess, two, maybe one or two random stories. Well, obviously, two types of people. There's the nice customer service type of people, and then there's completely people who hate their jobs. I'm not one of those. I, you know, I love my job. I love working where I work. I love working with people. For me, I'm a people person I always see him talking to you like I know you because we're friends or you're not and you might be my foe either one don't care you're watching this video I always need doing something and right to entertain you guys I want to say out of six out of ten people everybody's nice four people that are not are the worst things that will ever come by and by that I think everything is Oh, it's old to them. They think everything needs to stop. They think everything needs to be service to them. Everything needs to just completely get their knee, you know, all that fun stuff. For me, I'm not that person. I go to McDonald's and they're, you know, their ice cream machines out there. Their ice cream machines out. I'm not going to go stop them. I'm not going to go sit there and go, oh, well, then I expect a free McDonald's right down my house that makes me ice cream 24 7. No, I'm just like, eh, then I get an ice cream. Oh, well, next day, maybe I'll get it. Don't really care. So for me, okay, <laughs> some of my little horror stories or just a little really annoying story I like to tell you guys it's this dumb lady it's about five till I close and you know for us when we pre-close you got you know you're, you're, you're gonna you know get get rid of things obviously in the retail you know that's a, you have to waste everything and throw it away account it blah 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 fun stuff <laughs> technical statistics for me I, I tend to do things a little bit earlier so then I start doing everything I need to do this lady comes up and goes hi I want this I inform her ma'am we are out of what you want I apologize is there anything else I can get you she goes well if you're out of what I want I want a gift card and for me in my mind I'm just I'm processing what she said I'm like you you think you're entitled to a gift card what makes you entitled to what you want I don't go anywhere and expect them to do that for me. That's like that's not gonna happen. I have better been calling you names. I bet I should have I, I should I should have just grabbed something to shove that in your face. Then that's when I think you you probably deserve a gift card. You know, just to be out of something, not my fault. Blame everybody else that likes what you like and bought it all day. Everybody liked it. They bought it. You were the last one there. Obviously, you're not going to be there, hey, 2,000 people in line to get free lightsabers. Oh, you're 2005? Oh, sorry, we're out of lightsabers. Oh, well, then I want the Star Wars movie. No, that's not how things work. So she just started yelling at me, and I'm like, you know, nice about it. And then she walks away, didn't think anything of it. Go on with my day. My coworker comes by and asks for water. Give them a water because I'm a nice guy, and it's free. <laughs> I'm on my little rounds doing everything I need to do and then she walks by I guess I saw her in the corner of my eye and she goes blah blah and I didn't know what she said I didn't really care when a co-worker comes back she goes oh my god did you hear what she said and I'm like no what did she say she goes fucks and I'm like oh <laughs> I mean fuck blah 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 you work at and I'm like what he looks about 50 has a 20 something year old kid has two little kids why would she do that in front of their kids for you to do that in front of your kids is probably the worst example ever. I wouldn't do that in front of anybody's kids. And for me to hear that, I was just like, man, this, this lady must have been that angry. Sorry, we're out of your items. Nothing else I can do about that. Apologize, apologize, apologize. So yeah, <laughs> that was one little story. Another one would be where this old man came in, a customer came in right before him, talking to her, you know, whatever. You know, getting her a drink, figuring out what she wants, you know, making sure a lot of whole situations dealt with. The guy's in the back just really irritated, really angry, really mad. You can see it on his face. It's like, Brr. so getting her a drink order, I make it. He's like, you fucking idiot. I hate you. You do not know how to do your job. And I'm like, okay. So he walks away. Didn't think anything of it as well in that same situation. And, you know, just being nice, saying, okay, sorry, sir. Walks away. I'm making this lady's drink, he walks to customer service, get, says whatever he says, I honestly don't know, but what I learned from that is that he's a liar, so I didn't have to take anything else he said after that serious. So the girl I helped out, just talking to me for a moment, like, oh, you know, that guy was extremely rude, I'm sorry you have to deal with that, I'm like, don't apologize for him. This so then my manager person thing comes and she goes, what happened? I'm like, nothing? She goes, well, he just said you cursed at him, he said you started calling him names and everything else, and I'm like, mm didn't do that because I don't do that I'm a nice person I mean so for me that's just like man people are liars and people will do things that are horrible in front of their children keep that in mind when I come back so you want to do you know spend your money on whatever stupid little thing you want to buy 
I'm not there to ruin your day. I don't even have anything against you. I'm there to try to make you laugh. I'm there to try to talk to you. I'm there, to, you know, please you never. And it's funny because I, I don't I don't have this voice when I when I work. It's like, hi, how are you? What can I get started for you? Have a great day. See, that's a whole different beast from what I am now. If I, I can guarantee you, none of these people would come straight to you while you're walking down the street, yelling at you, why the fuck are you on the sidewalk? Blah 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 blah. blah. You wouldn't do that, because I'd probably fucking knock you out. I'd probably go sit there and talk shit to you until you start crying, because I don't care about who you are, because I was never rude to you. Didn't start anything with you. So yeah, people are rude. <laughs> These little random stories I want to tell you guys the retails. If anything else funny happens, I will tell you guys. <laughs> I have some other stories too. So if you, if you guys like this, you know, just let me know. Or, you know, just watch it. I mean, if I get more, like, 5 plus views, I'm gonna, I'll probably have more, more about random stories like this, besides being on tour, which is a whole different beast. So thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. You guys do mean a lot to me. 